Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This particular seed is a pretty straightforward seed. This is going to be really good for somebody coming back into Valheim that wants to experience a little bit of everything. Um, it's not a speed run, it's not uh, a super glamorous seed by any stretch of the imagination. However, it, it's not too bad. I think this is going to be a great seed for a new player as well, so they can experience a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I, overall, I th it, and it's got a maypole, and I'll show you in a minute. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So here is the maypole. Um, not bad. It's right here in this little alcove as you come up. I mean, I think that's a pretty good little port opportunity here for a builder. Um, you may have to dig this out a little bit. That's okay. Um, it, or you can just leave it as it is and enjoy harvesting these necks, which is great. Um, you've got decent resources here. You can build a nice little town if you wanted you've got some you know farming plots over here i call these farming plots only because they've got the raspberries on them and they're they're already um cleared out right they usually level so you've got you know what you normally find in a maypole village you've got four or five i think we got seven here uh raspberry bushes that's cool cup of piggies running around a couple of outbuildings there's three of them that's actually pretty good um another little plot right here and then you've got some open ocean there that is open ocean right there and the, yes that is a mountain in the background um and we're going to look at the map in a minute the maypole is nicely located in the center of this little village which is really right in front of where you would put your port location of course you're going to have to dig this out if you really want to do a port there um or or build a rampart right there. Got a little skeleton right here. He, you may get a visitor in the middle of the night from time to time. That might be a factor early, but uh, you know, skeletons are not something you really are too stressed out about. Um, just quickly, there's a little, little, looks like there wanted to be a village here at some point. There's a wood resource here. Normally when you see these fenced in um, like this, it's, Sometimes there's an old pig barn here, or, you know, this would be a, a location for a maple. Um, you know, you're not going to really do much with that, but maybe put a lighthouse. I don't know. That might work. And, of course, you got another little building over here. Um, standard meadows, however, I think that this location of, the, uh, of this little natural little inlet and port right here, again, you dig it out or be creative with your build into the maypole into this little village is pretty solid now um we had to fly over here we're in cheat mode okay you are you were not going to be able to run to this from the starter from the spawn you are going to have to either cheat mode it or build a raft and float over um but you know that's sometimes what we have to do if we want to get a naturally occurring maypole let's take a look at the map so Here's the spawn, here's the maypole, okay? Now, the good news is, is this maypole location has multiple different um, biomes on it. You've got black forest, you've got meadows, you've got swamp, you've got mountain, um, and you've got the plains. Now, that mountain we saw in the distance is actually over here. But you've, you've got just about everything except for Mistlands, okay? Which is, and you're not that far from the Mistlands. They're right down here. Um, and you've got a pretty easy boat route down there. So I think this is a pretty decent little island here. Now, or continent. It, one of the issues is you've got this massive lake in the middle. Um, that can be a pain because you've got to run around it, okay? You can't just, there's not a direct line. Um, but here, here's your, you know, your ocean location. You, you, you've got wide open ocean, as I, as I told you. 
But let's take a look at where the bosses are here. Now, at first blush, you're going to say, you know, Karak, these aren't great. They aren't. However, remember how this, this is being presented to you. This is being presented as um, a seed that gives you a little bit of everything. And part of the reason we're here is, is because... You've got enough around you. You're going to have to get in a boat and sail. Okay. Um, I believe that Valheim, a big part of the game is you're a Viking, so you should need to sail. However, if you disagree, then this seed may not be for you, and that's cool. Um, you've got Bone Mass right here, which you can run to. That's a that's a positive. you got the Elder right here, which is fairly close. You'd be able to get over there pretty easily. And here's your spawn with Ichthyr. So your first three bosses are actually fairly close. That's a positive. The other good news is, is directly north you've got your Yagloth. Okay. Um, yeah, you're going to have to sail a little bit, but it's a clean sail. It's not like you're going to have to weave and, and go through a whole bunch of different islands. It's And Yagloth is on its, its own little island here for the most part. Um, motor is an issue. Okay. Now the... The best motor probably is going to be up here. And just so we're clear here, there's a couple of different plays. You can go north. You've got plenty of bosses. You've got your Elder, Bone Mass, and Motor right here. And Yagloth. Um, you know, all your bosses are right here to the north of your spawn. You are going to have to get in a boat for that. Um, so, uh, you know, and then you've got another clump over here got a couple right around you which is great um the, the the main issue with the bosses is the queen right so you know um there's got to be a little pain somewhere <laughs> in most seeds um i'm not sure which queen you're going to go for I, I think i'd probably go for the ones over here because i want to be close to the ashlands which is the next big biome that we're going to get let's take a look at the trader um the trader is accessible in the north so the north may be your play um you can start here um there's plenty of places to build here again you don't have to go to this maypole location i just i focus on maypoles on my channel i think this is a decent maypole location for a build aesthetically like i said it's got that natural port um and then you're sailing out of it however if you choose to stay on the star island you could run to this trader um, and you've got access to Elder, Bone Mass, Yagloth, Motor. Um, everything here is to the north, so um, it's not a bad play. What I would do is, is build my little comfort house here, um, fortify it, and then just have a port over back to the spawn where I can get to all these northern locations. That's just how I would play it. So I don't think we're in too bad a shape here. But let's take a look at Tombs and Crypts, because that's a big one. Now... One of the reasons why I, I'm doing this seed is because of the two, two bone masses and the concentration of crypts. Okay, um, there's actually three really good bone masses here. You've got the one right here, the one right over here, and the one to the far north, which is north of the Yagloth. These bone masses are all really, really good because they're, they're filled with uh, tombs and crypts. I mean, th that's what you want to see. You want to see a lot of tombs and crypts around your boss spawns. Now, you've also got that with the Elder. Um, you know, right here, you've got one up here. Um, obviously, this one right here. This one's okay. Um, so, what we have here is, is the first two bosses after Ichthyr are surrounded by tombs and crypts for that particular biome that's exactly what we want and that's one of the reasons why i'm doing the seed discovery on this particular seed in and of itself the bosses are okay the maypole is a pretty good aesthetic build location but the boss locations with the commensurative crypts are exceptional for bone mass and elder anyways and so that's very very important I mean, th these are really, really good. You're only going to have to pick one of these, and you should be able to get every res every resource that you need for that biome, wh whichever uh, swamp boss and elder boss you go to. That's pretty good.
let's start to look at motor and motor is an interesting one so we want to go at we want to look at frost caves this may take a minute to load up so obviously with the motor spawns we want the same result we want a bunch of frost caves around the motor so we only have to go to one mountain biome now of course you can go to as many mountain biomes as you want um, but the way I like to play it is is if I, I I designate a location on the map I'm gonna go find that motor I want everything right there so I can thoroughly just do that whole mountain biome and obviously we want to have dragon eggs around it as well but for some reason it takes a long time to load up frost caves now I'm not sure why um, so here we are this motor is okay there's four up here um, there's only one over here that that mountain you can see in the distance oh, sensitive mouse this one's all right um, you've got a couple of frost caves here let me make a quick um, editorial here of, of frost caves they're important because what can happen is, is if you pull motor you know you're ready to do the boss fight whatever you can stand in the entrance of the frost caves and it's an indestructible area so her f f attacks won't knock the stone away now you're still gonna have to dodge or whatever but you can actually build in the front of those frost caves um, and you can put um, I'm pretty sure you can put a, a, a bed and a fire just right in the doorway it you have to finagle it but I'm pretty sure you can do it but if you get into trouble you can just go into the frost cave and regen so having one close to motor is pretty good both of these northern motors have one fairly close by let's see what we got for dragon eggs each one of them has a sufficient amount of dragon eggs near her you're gonna need to to drag three of them up to the altar dragon eggs are heavy so that's good we want them very very close by so overall I think the motor is pretty good the two that we would choose from I'm probably gonna choose this one up here um, so I think that's okay uh, not bad so right now we've got two excellent boss locations in the elder and bone mass um, all of the, the ones that we would go to are excellent we've got very good motor locations so again this is the strength of the seed is the boss locations whichever one you pick is usually pretty robust they've got everything that you need now let's take a look at Yagloth let's make sure that we've got what we want there we want to see the totems okay, and the sometimes the fueling camps or whatever um we're gonna play this one to the north because I, I don't really like this one over here it's just a pain to get to so what do we have we've got a couple of totem camps we can run to on our maypole island okay you've got these and then you've got four down here that's okay what we want to see though is we oh, just like the other bosses we want to see the totems very close to Yagloth now this one's very close okay and you've got two right here it's actually pretty good you're gonna need five totems to spawn Yagloth so you know you're you've completed motor you maybe you're up here you know you can run down grab this one um, maybe you're gonna come over here grab a couple of these it not as good of, of not as good of news with the Yagloth as we had with you know elder bone mass and motor you know so it's it, it's continually getting less right however it's not horrible you've got four of them pretty close to Yagloth here you're just gonna have to come up with a fifth um, the tar pits that's for the aesthetic building you've got a couple on this Yagloth um, little island um, you know you've got a couple down here that you can run to you know not bad let's take a look at the Queen now I want to do some full disclosure here which I do in most of my videos I have not played completely I have not done a full Miss Lands clear yet meaning I haven't gone into the Miss Lands played 100% of the content I've gone in there I've checked it out um, so Miss Lands is end game right now it will not be forever though so what we want to see though is again 
we want to see a queen spawn with lots of resources around it. And both of these to the west are pretty well resourced. Okay? Um, it, it's going to be a pick em with the queen, which way you want to go. You're probably going to do most of your work to the north. You're done with Yagloth. You're wrapped up. Where did you build your base? Okay, did you build a port somewhere over here for Bone Master Elder? Did you go to the south? Um, you know, maybe you came down here for Yagloth. I don't know. I think the end game, the queen end game for this particular seed is going to be where the most pain is. It, you, number one, you're not going to have any um, resources built up around it, right? You've probably built all of your little spawns and your camps and your portals up up in here. You're going to have to come pretty far west. In addition to that, you're going to have to navigate these continents. Okay, it's not wide open. It's not like the sail up north to Yagloth, which is clear. Um, you're going to have to navigate over here. Um, the good news is, is it's going to be close to the Ashlands, which is where we're going for the next update. Now, if we look to the east, we've got some pretty robust um, mist land over here that can be farmed up. The problem is, is we don't have a queen until we get up here. Um, so pick your poison. Um, this is, by the time you get to the queen, you should be a seasoned Valheim player. This should not scare you. Um, you know, but again, if you're a new player and you're looking at this, you may not want to select this particular seed because getting to that queen is going to be a challenge. It is what it is. Let's take a look at some of the other miscellaneous items that we, we want to look at. So we want to look at Leviathans. Okay. Um, obviously, I think this is going to be a solo play, so I don't foresee a whole huge need for Leviathans in the Chitlin. But you, you've got enough here off, off the Maypole and off the Spawn. You've got three. That should be enough for you to get enough to build your abyssal harpoon. That's really what you want it for. That's enough. Um, if you if you decide for some reason to do a group play here or a modded play with a bunch of people, you're going to have to travel to find leviathans. But these three right here, that that should suffice. Um, troll caves. I like to use these as portals, um, but I like to use them specifically around the trader. This one over here is right next to the trader. Okay, perfect. You can enclose the front of the of the troll cave, slap a portal in there, you're good to go. Um, it's a cheap and easy way to build uh, ports around. Now, the other good news is, is there's a couple over here by the queen. So, if you you know if you're not comfortable with the mist lands you can just get to one of these troll caves slap a portal in there and that gives you some access to run up and you know investigate the mist lands at, at your speed put a bed in there if you die and you can just you know you're right back into the fight basically that's how i use troll caves what else um i have bees obviously in your starter island on the spawn there's all there's you normally bees around here you want to grab three or four queen bees get them producing honey right away that's a good early food source and before you know it you're going to have a surplus but definitely grab them while you're on this spawn now there's one or two by the maypole here as well so you know if you forget you should be fine there's plenty of bees on this particular um seed what else um useful runes where the piggies um there's one down here by your maypole. There's a bunch on the starter island. Um, you know, as I recommend for people, when you get into a new village with the maypole, there's usually boars running around. Try to get them enclosed as quickly as you can so you can start domesticating them. Um, that's normally what we cover. I know this is the new Tetra Lake. It's a rare fishable lake found in the frost caves. Tetra fish are found here. Um, you saw the frost caves. You basically, what you want to do is, is you want to find a motor that has a lot of frost caves around it so you can investigate that entire mountain biome, get it all cleared up, get acclimated to that mountain biome, and w one or two of them should have a tetra lake in it. 
Anyways, it's night time. That is the seed discovery. I think this is overall probably going to be a seven and a half or an eight. I'm going to say an eight because those the elder and the bone mass spawns are exceptional with all of those crypts. The motors are okay. The Yagloth is okay. The queen is way off into, you know, in space. <laughs> um, it, it, you know, it, it's not a horrible seed, but I think this is a very good seed for somebody who is just starting the game. Um, it's going to force them to play just about every aspect of it, or it's good for someone just coming back to Valheim. And again, we've got this nice little port inlet little town right here with the maypole. I think you could do a lot with this area just for a build. Um, and again, I, I don't think you're going to... And there's our skeleton friend that I told you would spawn over here. He will come and visit you. And he will farm the, uh, the next for you. But I think this is going to be a place where you just have your main base where you just build, relax, and then you're going to build a portal hub and portal out around the map. Anyways, that's how I see it. How do you see it? Let me know in the comments below what you think of the seed. Is this something that, you know, you would play? Um, I would probably play this seed. This is a seed that um, it looks like it's going to give me what I want, which is I want a little bit of everything of the Valheim experience. But let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. Thanks so much for coming by. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All of that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support. I'll talk to you again soon.